This is Credit Matters, and I'm Greg Moskowitz of the Global Fixed Income Research Group. The number of rising stars has increased by two entities to 31 since the last reporting period. We define rising stars as issuers that Standard & Poor's rating services has upgraded to investment grade, triple B minus and higher, from speculative grade, double B plus and lower. The 31 rising stars account for $184.5 billion in rated debt. In comparison, the Fallen Angels count currently stands at 19 entities. However, there are 54 potential Fallen Angels compared with 16 potential rising stars. A low potential rising stars count indicates that the rising stars count may increase at a slower pace going forward. Of the 16 potential rising stars, 7, or nearly 44 percent, are based in the U.S., 5 are based in Europe, and 2 are based in Latin America. The 16 potential rising stars account for $47.7 billion in rated debt. We closely monitor issuers as they ascend to rising star status in order to evaluate the size of the rating transitional movements. In terms of becoming a rising star, the smallest incremental upward movement would be from the highest speculative grade rating to the lowest investment grade rating, or from double B plus to triple B minus. This transition bucket captures 71% of our rising stars. You can find more information in the report titled Rising Stars in Emerging and Developed Markets Including the U.S. and Europe. Rising Stars Outnumber Fallen Angels. This has been Credit Matters. Thank you for watching.